Hi, Tim Roberts, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This quick tip video, we're going to demonstrate one of the new features for Simulation 2014, which is the ability to do a contact pressure plot on a 2D simplification study. Let's look at our geometry. We have a block, and we have a set screw mechanism in the block. Let's hide the block for clarity. If we zoom in on the bottom of our set screw, you can see it's kind of conical shape. And so we're going to show the block again now and, and look at our static study, and look at some results that have already been ran. Here at the bottom, we've got a, a static study. This has been ran with the 2D simplification study. Let me show you where this is. When you create your study at the bottom here, you'll check use 2D simplification. And this will allow you to basically look at a slice of the geometry. Okay, so we've applied our materials to those slices. We have um, alloy steel. And we will now look at some results. Um, first of all, our fixture is at the bottom, uh, the fixed face or edge, and we've got a pressure on the top of the screw. Those are our conditions. Let's look at the plots that are generated with stress. Here's our stress plot. We've got a displacement plot as well. And finally, we've got a strain plot. Okay, and up until now, we could not do the following, which is to do a contact pressure plot. So we'll choose um, under entities, contact pressure. Again, this is new for 2014. We'll change our desired units to PSI. Okay, and we'll apply that and show our plot. You can tell right here at the corners our highest uh, contact pressure. So those are our results. Let's look at one other option for the contact pressure plot. You might not always want to view it this way, but if you edit the definition, you can uh, choose the vector plot option. Show as vector plot. Okay, so when you do that, you get vector arrows showing magnitudes. You can see our reds right on the corner. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this quick tip video. My name is Tim Roberts. Thanks for watching.